universal language. Very happy to be at the Mother and Son Bistro in Asheville, North Carolina, joined by Javi and Brian from Robots Win in front of their performance coming up at Bell Share very soon. How's it going, fellas? Pretty well. Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how Robots Win got together, because you guys were both doing things outside of, you know, you were doing other projects before you got together. Yeah. Right. Um, Javi and I had started out the band. Um, you know, we were both in rock bands. He was in a metal band. I was in a more like a pop rock, rock and roll band, and had been wanting to do some electronic music for quite some time. And this was what this was Javi's role in his metal band. So to me, you know, it was like a perfect uh, link up. You know, at the bar one night we talked about it. And he yeah. said he had some beats, and <laughs> needed me to sing over him. So that's how it all really started. Yeah, yeah, I had heard of Brian's music, and I think he had heard some of my stuff, and we just had mutual friends, and I was just like. Let's do this. He's like, okay. And I think less than a week later, I gave him, I gave him a track, and then the next day he had vocals done on it. And then we kind of went from there. Brian got a sampler and started producing a lot more, and we just kind of have grown from that moment. And we don't have all the band here today. Right. We're really? missing our guitarist Jim DeBardi. Um, but yeah, he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> We're a busy man. Yes. Um, yeah. He's working over at the Moog factory right now, so <clears throat> he's got stuff going on. But yeah. So you can check out Robots Win on their website, which is rbtswin.com. Yes. And a lot of music that you can pick up there. Right. Um, we have uh, our, our full-length album, which is called Everything I Do Is Raining, is up for free download. Um, after that, we came out with an EP called Palm Casual, which is also for free download. And then there are also some just various side things that we've done along the way. You know, the Asheville Beat Tape, which is just a conglomeration of uh, Asheville producers, you know? a way for them to showcase what they're doing and they're about to come out with volume two of that that you can get the first volume on there hobbies yeah, solo there's some, re there's some remixes and uh we thus far we put out everything for free and uh leading up to our new records so i think we're putting a lot more time and effort well not effort but you know <laughs> it's just we're trying to take it to the next level so our new album the dark ones will be out um i think late august and it'll be on there as well. Yes. So how did you come around to deciding that everything was going to be free? Because there's no We're real... Playing Bell Share, that's free too. I mean, how do you right. Know? Right. <laughs> um, I think it's important to get the music out there. Like, a lot of bands, you know, are concentrated on making that 5 to $8 per record. But I can Google our name and our stuff's... You can download our stuff in Japan and Germany. And to start the band, we just... Exposures, you know, priceless. You know, right. So. so to us, it's 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 worth more in um, a fan base than it is monetary. You know, to us, we'd rather have more fans than more money right now. Money would be good, you know. Granted, that's money is awesome, but um, it's not really. You know, it's, I've been this far without it, so it's, I'm still pretty good. <laughs> Bands traditionally have made money off merch and shows. Mm -hmm. The record labels in the past, you know, have always taken all the publishing and song rights so really exposure is is what they have always gotten out of it so that's yeah. kind of what we're going with yeah so we're going to try to do it without the label for now you know? yeah just put it on your ipods <laughs> take it <laughs> but you got to figure out a way to afford things right right well that's kind of what that's this band's based on it's, it's it's a bedroom it started as a bedroom project it's do it yourself uh, we record it all ourselves mix and we use friends to do graphic design and mastering we have yeah. a lot of good friends that are really talented um, our friend Eric Graham does photography for, uh, photography for us. Our friend Ken Hernandez, he's a great graphic designer from Miami. It's just a lot of, a lot you of know, help. it's... Like, we, they, they scratch our backs, you know, we scratch theirs. It's, it's all about, like... Uh, uh, community. Yeah, community, essentially. DIY community. Yeah. Right. It makes it much easier to barter than to have to come up with cash, like, off the, out of nowhere, right? Right. Yeah. And Jim in the band is also employed at Moog. He is, yes. And so I imagine there are some advantages to having that connection. We, yeah, there are. You, you have to imagine everybody at Moog is in a band. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, it, it's, a, it's a company, you know, built by musicians for musicians, you know. So everybody there has a band, and everybody, you know, is kind of chomping to get a, some form of stuff from Moog, you know what I'm saying? So luckily with us, it's like, um, we kind of started our workings with them maybe as Jim was, you know, coming into Moog. So it was easier. We had already established ourselves to them and they knew about us, you know. So, you know, it wasn't 
it, 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 him working there wasn't our, our, our complete foot in the door. They actually liked us, so it was kind of cool. You know? So you just told me earlier that the videos that I've seen on YouTube of your music isn't necessarily you in the videos, oh, it's fan did. videos? Right, right, uh, videos that fans have shot. We, we posted a few videos on YouTube, you know, of like uh, some live footage from Fest that we played last year, um, some live footage with bands like Black Moth Super Rainbow, Refuse 73, um, that we had played with. So we posted some of those videos, but yeah, we, we a lot of people are just posting songs they like from the albums, and they'll put like kind of a slideshow to it, or you know, I, I want the acting, I want that, I want some, I want to see some uh, fans acting. That's a that's, shoot us a video. Costumes, you know, yeah, costumes. Uh, that's our DIY. That's our DIY screen to the fans. You know, shoot our video. Yeah. Yeah. Costumes. This is your chance. Yeah. This is this is the shout out. Right now. So, any other near term plans? You got uh, Bell Share, obviously, and anything other than the record coming up in the near future? Yeah, um, the, like we said, the record, the Dark Ones, is going to be out late August. Um, we're thinking now. Um, we also have a Moog Sound Lab that's coming up, um, where we go into the Moog facility and essentially use only Moog to produce a song that we have, you know, so that will be good. That's going to be around October, so we're not really sure of the release of that. Um, and we have a lot of touring coming up, you know, we're playing a lot out of town, Charlotte, Miami, um, Atlanta, Tennessee, so regionally, you know, we're playing a lot, so. Yeah, yeah. we'll definitely be touring a lot more after the record comes out and just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we wish you all the best. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show. I'm Joe Kendrick for Mu Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. Until next time.